Hi, Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh and a very good day. So today, after a long time, I will teach you how to plot or how to set up a galvanostatic charge discharge from the Nova software. So I got a few inquiry regarding how to set up the GCD experiment. So first, what I'm going to do is first you need to open your Nova. So we have a new version 2.18. So open the, open the Nova software. Then you click your library, open your library. So go to your default procedure, click your default procedure. After you click for your default procedure, we have a lot of procedure here. If the procedure is missing, you can contact the supplier of the machine. So what you need to do next is you find the chrono amperometry. So you find the chrono amperometry here. Let's see, we have here chrono amperometry here, chrono charge discharge galvanostatic. So you need to double click this one, chrono charge discharge galvanostatic. So this is the interface, no need to do anything. So you click the auto lab control, it's just a common name, it's the mode is galvanostatic that we uh, give the current to the model so you can get the time. Okay, next is the repeat time, this is important. So from here, first of all, repeat and time is how many galvanostatic charge discharge you want. For example here, I put 10 because I want to have 10 GCD curve. If you want to have only 2, just click 2 here. Okay, next is your apply. So, uh, next is your apply current. So, for apply current, you need to understand first your current density. For example, you are dealing with 1 ampere per gram. If your mass is 0 0.0005 gram, then you can go to this value. If, let's say, your mass is 1 gram, so at 1 ampere per gram, your current should be 1 ampere, which is too big. So depend on your mass. So put your mass. Okay, then here, you can put your mass here. Let's say this one is 0 0.5 milligram. Okay, uh, because of I'm dealing at 1 ampere per gram, so the mass now become the current. If you are dealing with 2 ampere per gram, you next to times 2 this one. Okay, sell on, leave it go to the record signal here the duration we put 3600 because we prolong the duration at this range because we don't want actually our material to start charging if you put like just 60 second 100 second because you don't know how long the charging will going to take place that's why we put a longer duration 3600 is around one hour so impossible that it will go to one hour is it one hour let me check yeah correct one hour because 600 second is 10 minutes 3600 is one hour so normally uh, before this time they will be stop the charging because here the important thing is uh, uh, the important things here is Let's say the important things here is we want our cutoff. Let's see we have a cutoff or not. Let me see. Yeah, we don't have cutoff. Later, later we talk about cutoff. We want to have the cutoff voltage. So the charging and discharging can stop at that cutoff. So let's see the discharge first. The same thing, but the negative current. And then you got the record signal here, the duration and so on. Okay. Let's look at what we missing here. Okay, this is the example that I already did. So here, uh, we have applied the voltage, uh, the current here, which is uh, 2 exponent negative 5. Okay, next for the record signal, you need to add on here. Uh, we are missing something, which is the upper cutoff. Okay, for this one, I think you can refer to the tutorial or how to add that one how to add the potential here the sampler they open the potential so from that you can limit the potential okay let's go to here i think go to the more sampler we have already the potential 
Okay, uh, at the default procedure, there is no cut off because they are doing the charge discharge based on the series. Series means that one series, how long it's going to take to charging and discharge because that's all, it's, uh, there is no cut off here. So for the default procedure, it's based on the time, how long it will be charged and discharged. You can change by adding the cut off. Uh, later, if I explore, I can add on how to add the cutoff. So I think that's all. Then from here, you can get your results. Okay, for example, this one, you can get your charging and discharge. So they will charge at because my cutoff is one volt and discharge at cutoff of zero volt. So that's how you got your GCD. Okay, I think that's all for this video. Very simple. If you didn't need a cutoff, you can proceed with charge discharge uh, just by relying with the uh, rel relying with the what we call that the time. Okay, this is for the C rate. If not, you can add on the cutoff value here. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you very much.